Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. The latest update version 0.1.5.0 was recently released with many bug fixes. As you can see there's the release notes and I'm not going to go through them all but there were a few interesting things and I decided to test some of them but among things were fixes to the air brakes and various parts, environmental fixes which are more visual and uh, some flight or map fixes but one thing that wasn't included was the uh, sort of orbital decay situation around Minmus among other things and what that will be one thing I test during the video and one thing that I was interested in was the fairings and also the grid fins they added two grid fin parts but I won't test the grid fins because down below it said that the grid fins did not respond to SAS yet so uh, that is a known issue that they don't respond to SAS so I'll hold off on the grid fins for now maybe I'll do it in a subsequent video uh, soon but for now, we won't test that in this video. So I proceeded to build a little probe that would land on Minmus, and actually it has way too much delta V for that. I used the ant engines and the Oscar B fuel tanks and put three ant engines on ultimately. And we also had a fix for electric charge being used too much. The reaction wheels during time warp would continue to use the electric charge when they weren't supposed to, and they fixed that, so we'll test that. So I just put battery on without any solar panel in order to make sure that we test that, otherwise the solar panels would complicate things. And also, of course, we are testing the fairings. That The fix for the fairings was that they tend to drop straight down towards the planet when they released, which they're not supposed to do. And we will see whether the fairings work properly now. And so we have a very simple rocket. It's a spark engine on the second stage, and then we'll have the swivel on the first stage. And we're going to send this off to Minmus and land it down there. There is buzz about the science update that's not included in this patch. That's due potentially in December, but I'll wait and see on that. There's plenty of rumors, I'm sure, but I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to talk about any rumors. When I get it, we'll see how it works, and that'll be that. So for now, I'm dealing with what we actually have in this patch, which I can test. Because I'm really strictly an uh, experimentalist rather than somebody who follows rumors. You'll note that I don't do any videos on news or rumors coming out at all. And I will continue to only focus on things that I can actually test. So, uh, we are getting up to where we will be releasing the fairing soon. Uh, a lot of the fixes are to the building in the VAB, you know, constructing the vessels. And so far I didn't have any problems, but this is a really simple rocket. So we'll have to try and put together something complicated as we see that the fairings don't really go off. So the ejection force obviously needs to be increased. And when we get into space, they just sort of disappear like that. So once we hit space, as long as they've been released, they just poof, disappear. So I don't think this is the ideal situation for the fairings. I feel like maybe they should get somebody who worked on procedural fairings to do this. But anyway, we'll see further experimental tests of the fairings in a bit as we boost over to Minmus. There's another problem with this uh, maneuver node timer here. They fixed the lights according to them, but the timing is off, the position for the burn is off because we should start below the prograde vector and uh, end up above the prograde vector. Instead, it starts directly at the prograde vector even though we don't have any radial component. And the result is that we have extra radial component like that. And so the whole maneuver node system is a little bit messed up. I stopped it right at the delta V being depleted, right, that line. And, but that was earlier than the lights. So there's a mistiming there and it resulted in with the going by the delta V line uh, falling short. Now if I went with the lights, maybe it'll be the right timing. But still, I think there would be an extra radial component compared to what I plotted because the plot is a straight prograde burn and with a straight prograde burn you would start a little bit below prograde and end up a little bit above, not start directly prograde. So it's really weird. <laughs> Uh, we end up with an extra radial component any way you look at it. But yeah, maybe there's a reason for that related to the ion engine burns, which take a long time. I'm not sure. So here we are capturing around Minmus, and I decided to capture low so we could test out that orbital decay situation, which I didn't properly test previously. And we will see. But they that's not in the patch notes. They didn't say that they had fixed that, so I'm not expecting it to be fixed. And in fact, I find out that it is not fixed. So here we are low enough, we get to the point where 
it starts uh, telling us that the time warp is restricted. And sure enough, even though there's no thrust, our apoapsis and periapsis are changing. And I eventually turn off the SAS to make sure it's not turning us and changing the orbit somehow. Uh, turning us should not change the orbit somehow, but... Um, yeah, that's still got that issue. Now, I wouldn't be too worried about this because we could just chalk it up to mass concentrations like around the moon, right? Uh, it could be just a minimus anomaly that just stays, but insofar as it might be indicative of other math errors in the game, that's what I'm worried about. The fact that they can't, even though they've tried to fix it and haven't fixed it, is more worrisome than it existing is uh, sort of the issue. So yeah, after, uh, during time warp it stops having that effect, but once you get out of time warp it starts having that effect. I'm not too worried about it since I'm trying to land on Mimus anyway, so our periapsis going down is just fine. Uh, here we separate off that stage, and we continue with our descent. And no problems there, this has tons of delta V. In fact, I was thinking of sending it to somewhere else, but the planetary alignments weren't quite right for that. There was no opportunity to go somewhere. And so we will just leave it on Minmus as I touch down here. And in fact, it'll be a test to see whether, you know, it hops up when we turn back to it or something like that. But I didn't do that uh, during this test. This is during the live stream and I just proceeded on to focusing on the fairings. And so here's the launch. I didn't increase the ejection force. I would suggest at least that the ejection force should be where it needs to be to get the fairings off initially uh, and it seems maybe midway about 400 kilonewtons or something like that these aren't really big fairings and you know I don't know what kind of fairings they were expecting to have and we're pretty high up this space now so this space the default amount of ejection force which I think was about 100 kilonewtons and it, they just stay there <laughs> and now they're just sort of there we're in space and I don't know if they'll go away because they disappeared at the boundary between atmosphere and space. I don't know if they'll disappear there until we do time warp and clip through or something. So this launches with the increased ejection force. Now 400 kilonewtons, I think it's kilonewtons, 400 whatever units it is. And uh, that's about midway on the slider. And we'll release them in the atmosphere. The other one was released in space. And they release like that. And and it's pretty clear that the separation vector, the sort of impulse that's imparted onto the fairings is too low. It's at the decoupler itself or the base instead of where it needs to be. There's a replay so that you can see. Uh, I got the way I do fairings because I have custom fairings for some of my rockets uh, in my mods. I got how to do that from Raider Nick and we put a thrust vector basically at the center of mass or maybe a little bit above it and added some solid fuel so that it could separate and basically the fairings have little engines <laughs> built in but of course the devs don't have to do that they can come up with some other way the important thing is to have a thrust vector that's a little bit higher up that will separate the fairings to some impulse that's higher up that will separate the fairings cleanly and that doesn't seem to be happening right now so they have fixed it in that the fairings don't like do that weird drop down to the surface of the planet which was disconcerting and so this is better but I think there's still some improvements to be made there. Uh, so anyway, that was my first look at the first patch, and there's plenty of improvements, and some of them are difficult to assess in this sort of mode because, you know, they're just fixed, like uh, putting parts together in the VAB or certain parts that weren't working right now working right. Uh, so yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.